Welcome. In this particular video, we'll be finding areas of triangles once you're given the measures of two of its angles and a side. Let's take a look at example one. Find the area of the triangle shown below to the nearest tenth. So the first thing we're going to do is to label the parts. So recall that the side across from angle A is referred to as side lowercase a. The side across from Angle B is referred to as side lowercase b, and the side across from angle C is referred to as side lowercase c. Now let's identify the pieces of information that we know. For sure, we know that the measure of angle B is equal to 31 degrees, and we also happen to know that the measure for angle C is equal to 70 degrees. In addition, we know that the length of side B is 16 feet. So we know that B is equal to 16 feet. And that is all the information that we have so far. So what we're going to do, we are going to try to figure out what is this specific value. In other words, what is the specific value or the length for side lowercase c? To do that, we're going to use the law of sines. So recall that sine of b over b is equal to sine of c over c, which in this case it implies that sine of 31 degrees over 16 is equal to sine of c, which in this case is sine of 70 degrees over lowercase c. After we cross multiply here, based on our proportion, we end up with sine of 31 degrees times C is equal to 16 times sine of 70 degrees. Now, to isolate the unknown here, the C, we're going to divide by sine of 31 degrees on both sides. So that leaves us with C is equal to 16 times sine of 70 degrees over sine of 31 degrees. That's the exact value there. But we want to get an approximation. So to get that approximation, we're going to use technology. In my case, I'm going to use the TI Inspire. So what I'm going to do is to type in that information. So we know that in parentheses, 16 times sine of 70 degrees divided by sine in this case of 31 degrees let's close both parentheses and let's hit control enter and let's see what we get so we get an approximate value of 29.2 after we're round to the nearest tenth, 29.2 units for C. So let's go back and write that down. So we can say that C is about 29.2 feet. Now, that gives us this, this extra piece of information here. So we already have the measure of this side and this side. So it will be great if we can come up with the measure of angle A. Why is that? Because we can use a special uh, formula to find the area. So let's figure out, let me call the measure of angle A, let's call it X. So we are going to say that X plus 70 plus the other measure here of 31 degrees, all three together will be equal to 180. So we have that x plus 101 is equal to 180. Now subtracting the 101 from both sides, we get that x is equal to 79 degrees. Okay. So the measure of angle, in this case, A, is equal to 79 degrees. Now, why is this important? Well, we happen to know the approximate value for C. 
we actually know the value for B of 16 feet and we also know the measure of angle A. So now we can apply this formula. Area is equal to one half times BC times sine of A. So by substituting in the values that we have here, we have that area is equal to one half times B, but we said that B was uh, 16 times C, which we said was roughly speaking 29.2 times sine of A, but sine of A is the same as sine of 79 degrees in here. And to get the approximate value for that area, we can enter that expression into our calculator. So we're going to do the following. 1 half times 16 times 29.2 times sine of 79 degrees. Let's go ahead and hit control enter. So we get a, a rough approximation of 229.308. Now since we're going to be rounding to the nearest tenth, we take a look at the digit immediately to the right of this three which is zero, so it doesn't add any more value to it, so we're going to just leave it with approximately 229.3. So you can say here, this particular area is about 229.3 feet square. So let's see one more example here. Example two, find the area of the triangle shown below to the nearest tenth. So notice, the first thing we want to do is to label the parts. So this is A because this side is across from angle A. Then this particular side here is going to be lowercase b because it's across from angle B. And then this side over here will be side lowercase c since um, it's across from angle C. And notice that you're given information regarding, um, in this case, angle A and side A, so let's go ahead and write it down, so we know that the measure of angle A is equal to 42 degrees, we also know that A is equal to 4 centimeters, and we also happen to know that the measure of angle B is equal to 102 degrees. So let's go ahead and figure out what is the value for B, and to do that we're going to be using the law of sines, so we know that sine of A over A is equal to sine of B over B, which in this case implies that we have sine of 42 degrees over 4 is equal to sine of 102 degrees over little b. Now let's cross multiply to solve this proportion, so we have that 4 times sine of 102 degrees is equal to sine of 42 degrees times b. So to leave the unknown by itself, the b by itself, let's go ahead and divide by sine of 42 degrees on both sides of the equation. Now that leaves us with the exact solution since this is 1 times b that gives you that B is equal to 4 times sine of 102 degrees divided by sine of 42 degrees. Okay, so let's go ahead and enter that into our calculator and get an approximate value for B. So here we have 4 times sine of 102 degrees all divided by sine of 42 degrees. Let's go ahead and hit control enter to get an approximation. So roughly speaking that's about 5.8. So going back to our notebook here we can say that this B is about uh, 5.8 and in this case those are centimeters. Now notice this gives us extra information. So let's go ahead and figure out now 
with that um, the measure of this missing angle here because if that's the case we can um, see that we're given this angle along with this the measure of this side and the measure of this side and we can apply this special formula to find the area of the triangle which is area is equal to one half times um, a times b times sine of c so let's go ahead and figure out what is that particular value for the, the measure of this angle let me call it x for now so we know as a fact that if we were to add all those three measures we have x plus 102 plus 42 should be equal to 180 degrees so we have x plus 144 is equal to 180 after we combine these two terms together let's go ahead and subtract the 144 from both sides of the inequality of the equation I should say and this is x is equal to 36 so we can conclude that the measure for angle C is equal to 36 degrees now with that said we now have all the information so we can substitute it into this formula so this implies that a is equal to one half times a times b times the sine of c in this case we end up with a equals one half times a but a is four times b which is approximately 5.8 times the sine of C but C measures 36 degrees so we have times sine of 36 degrees now to get an approximation here let's go ahead and utilize our technology so we can say well we have one half times 4 times 5.8 times sine of 36 degrees And let's go ahead and do control enter so we get um, a rough approximation of about a 6.8 after we round it to the nearest tenth since the digit immediately to the right of the 8 is 1 so we're not going to add anything else instead we're going to just drop everything after that so this is about 6.8 so when we can conclude the following the area in this case is about 6.8 centimeters square so in this particular video we will we were actually finding areas of triangles once you were given the measures of two angles and a side and we use um, the relevant information along with the law of signs and the special um, formula for area in order to come up with the values that we needed okay so thank you for watching and have a wonderful day